Hi everybody, how are you today? I'm just gonna try and line this up a little better. I really need to get that tripod. My stack of books does pretty well, but not exactly as I would like it to. I'm gonna try actually and watch on my laptop so that I can see comments if there, if you have questions. But I really want to talk about social media today, um, using it to your best advantage for your blog or your business. And uh, first of all, I'm not doing it all right. I've been doing a lot of studying and researching and trying to figure things out, listening to podcasts like a mod mad woman. I spend a lot of time in the car, so listening to podcasts is a great way for me to get my learn on while I am doing all the things that I need to do. So, first of all, social media is meant to be social. Um, when I am posting on Facebook, I want to connect with the people who are my readers. I want to create a connection with them. I want to have things in common with them. I am all about the um, living your life better, doing little things that can make life so much more enjoyable. So connecting with people on my social media platforms is what I'm there for. I'm not there to be an infomercial. If your social media page only has your own blog posts, your own business sales, uh, you only post about things you're doing, you are not making that connection. Um, it's an infomercial. It, all you're doing is advertising. And if you are doing that on your own page, uh, you need to change that. If you're doing that on a personal page, your business should not be done on your personal page. Your friends and family are most likely probably not the biggest readers of your blog or the biggest supporters of your business. That's just the way it is. Um, the internet is a huge place. It opens up the entire world to you to find people to connect with, to find people that you can benefit or that your business would have a benefit for them or your writings. If you do have a business, uh, first of all, you absolutely have to do a business page. Facebook actually can uh, take action against you if you are doing all your business on a personal page. They don't want to see that. They want their social media platform to be social. So if you're doing any type of a business, set up a Facebook page. It's easy to do. Google it. It'll walk you right through it. Uh, gather people to that page that are interested in your message. And then create relationships with them. All my life I've been a connector. I kind of thought every person did this. You know, whether it was when I was in high school or college or when I worked in a restaurant. If I met somebody that needed something or was looking for something, I searched the database in my mind for someone else who could give that person what they needed to create a beneficial relationship between the two. And I, it was just an instinctual thing I did. I thought everyone did that. Um, obviously, that is not how the world works. I'm a connector. So for me, social media is an absolutely tremendous thing because I can connect not only myself to people that think like me or want to hear my message, but I can connect other people in this huge wide world of social media. It's a connector. So when I'm talking about social media, um, and you have a business page on Facebook. On my blog, me and eight other bloggers, seven other bloggers, I'm sorry, have created an event that 
comes weekly every Thursday at 9 p.m. It's called the Social Media Blast. And it is a link up. You link this week, it's Facebook that we're talking about. Link your Facebook page URL inside the link up on my blog, viewfrominhere.com. Follow the other bloggers or business owners who have listed their Facebook page. Um, so number one, you're getting new followers right off the bat. Number two, interact with the other people in the link up. Every week when I go to each person's Facebook page that is linked up, I like at least five of their statuses and I comment on a minimum of one. They may not be in my niche, they may not be something that my audience wants to hear about, so I may not share something of theirs, but if they are, if they're talking about things that can make life better, I'm going to share their status to my Facebook page. You know, this is all about me connecting people, not only to me, my Facebook page fans are gonna come to me because they see me as a tool, number one, for giving them tips for living life better, but I also connect them to other people that can help them live life better. So I am saving them time on trying to find them those things themselves. Um, my friend Joanne, who's actually on here, is a representative for Zizia. I absolutely love Zizia. Zizia has helped me with my autoimmune disease um, and its symptoms like crazy. Um, it helps me feel better, it takes down the inflammation, blah, 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 Zizia is a tremendous product. But my friend Joanne is a rep for Zizia, and so I am going to like her information, and if it's pertinent to the people on my Facebook page, I'm gonna share it, because that is something that definitely makes my life better, perhaps it could make someone else's life better. And so I've now connected, I am still the connector. That's what social media is, sharing and connecting with the people on your Facebook page. If all you have on your Facebook page is, okay, for me, let's say all I posted on my Facebook page was view from in here posts or make lemonade shop pillows, you all would really get sick of my infomercial and you wouldn't hang around. You wouldn't like my statuses, you wouldn't comment on my statuses, and that would not do me any good. You can have a bajillion people like your social media and follow your social media, but if they're not interacting with your social media, you don't have a reach on the platform. Facebook decides what's important and they show things that they find value in to your followers or even to other people's followers if they like and they share that. But you have to have importance in their eyes. And if people aren't taking action on your social media page by liking, commenting, or sharing, your reach goes down. So, social media is hugely important. Get into the social media blast, connect with other bloggers and business owners, share their stuff, like their stuff, or comment on their stuff, and have them do the same to yours. Facebook will then see more value in your posts. The other thing, a lot of bloggers refuse to like the Facebook pages or Twitter accounts of bloggers outside their niche. And I think you are missing out in a huge, huge way if you do that. Number one, you're going to have to grow organically and it's gonna be really slow, you're gonna get really frustrated and you are not going to reach everyone you want to reach. You know, as bloggers, we're connecting other bloggers through the social media blast. And so you're going to find bloggers who can support your message and share it. And you're going to find bloggers who you support. This is a quicker way of growing and building and learning. Two of my favorite Facebook pages that I follow every single day have nothing to do with my niche has nothing to do with the message that I'm posting about. Uh, first of all, my favorite, favorite one is Jennifer Allwood. If you don't follow Jennifer Allwood, if you do Facebook Lives, if you have a business or a blog or a website, 
you need to follow Jennifer Allwood. Her actual Facebook page is at www.facebook.com slash the magic brush inc forward slash. Get over there and follow her. This woman is the bomb. Not only does she have a great Facebook page, she has a great podcast that I have run through and listened to every single um, podcast that she has. It's all about connecting, blogging, building business, creative businesses, um, connectivity. The woman is the bomb. My other favorite Facebook page is the Boondocks blog. It's facebook.com forward slash the Boone Docs blog forward slash. Mary is brilliant at her Facebook page. Her reach is incredible. The connection that she makes with the followers on her Facebook page, I envy it. I'm jealous. I need to do a lot of work on my Facebook page. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of studying. I need to implement what I've learned. Uh, this Facebook Live is part of that. And so... I need to reach out more to other bloggers and help connect them with what they need and want to be better. The other thing is I learn more from bloggers outside my niche than I do from bloggers inside my niche. Number one, I don't want to copy anyone. So if I am looking at a lifestyle blog and I see something fabulous that I'd like to do, I don't want to just copy what they're doing in the same niche. I want to try to figure out how I can make that work for my blog, my page. But when I am looking at someone outside my niche, they are doing something totally different than other lifestyle bloggers. They're doing something totally different than the Make Lemonade Shop but I can twist that and turn that to work for me. So checking out and following and liking and sharing and commenting on those pages is hugely important to me because I love their content. They are growing and learning and the advantage for me is I get to grow and learn from them. So the social media blast, it, it's there. For you all to interact on blog owners or business page owners get over to view from in here.com my blog the very first post on the home page is social media blast for Facebook page that is this week's social media blast get over there link up your blog like everybody else in the link link up like their pages from your personal page please if you like from a business page the like is negated and no one gets any benefit or the owner of the page doesn't get any benefit out of that. So go through, follow their page with your personal page. Like if I went to uh, the Boondocks blog right now and hadn't followed that, I would go there from my Nikki Frank Hamilton personal profile and like her page. And then I'd scroll through and look at a few things. Check out some of her repurposes. She is the absolute bomb at taking something you were going to throw in the garbage and repurposing it into something useful. By Georgia. Georgia's leaving now to go hang out with Levi. So, love it when my kids hang out together. Anyways, uh, let me know where you are and what's up, please. Be careful. So, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm losing my train of thought. Anyways, go through, like, the, like their page. Comment, share if it's pertinent to your page. If it's not, don't share it, but give that page some attention. Make comments to Mary because I'm telling you what, Mary is the bomb at finding out who you are and who's commenting on her page and she'll run over and she will check out your page and she'll like your page and she'll probably make some comments and she may even share stuff because Mary is a sharer. Like I said, Mary from the Boondocks blog on Facebook is the bomb. You need to follow her. And if you go to Jennifer Allwood's page, number one, she does a live pretty much every day, if not every day. And she's teaching you things about how to use Facebook Live, how to build your creative business, 
how to manage your life and your creative business. I mean, they're fantastic. Uh, you can't scroll through Jennifer Allwood's business page and not like something. In fact, today, uh, my favorite thread that she has for the week and questions that she uh, poses is, she said, did this today, working on this paint project, what are you working on making beautiful today? And you get to add a link to something that you worked on today. And so everybody on her Facebook page, which I think she has a quarter of a million followers on Facebook, kind of crazy, I know, me and my thousand followers over here are going, whoa, quarter of a million, that's crazy. But she did it because she uses her social media to connect with other people. She uses it correctly. So as a wrap up, get over to the Social Media Blast. If you have a business page or if you have a blog, you need to link up your business page URL and the link up. Go through, look at the other bloggers or business owners linked, take a little interest in their page. The more people you have showing interest in your posts or your page, the more your stuff is shown on social media. So not only do you get the opportunity to be a connector, to be connected, you also get to learn from that person's page and what they do. You could get information to share with your readers, which is huge. Sometimes it is so hard to go through and find things that would be valuable to my readers to share. And so by cruising somebody else's Facebook page, I get shareable content that works for me and it benefits them and it benefits my readers. So the social media blast is huge. Um, you also get the opportunity to learn from that blogger who may be, have an idea that you haven't had, um, who may do things in a different way, who may have skills that you don't have. It's like taking a social media course, but you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to do it. You just have to look at their page with a discerning eye and figure out what can work for you that's working really well for them. So like I said, go to viewfrominhere.com, sign up for the Social Media Blast, add the URL of your Facebook business page so we all can get to know you because you know maybe you're the one that has the great idea that we can all learn from or maybe you can learn from us. But the benefit is the more your page gets action, the more your updates get seen. So it's like a win-win situation. Make new friends and get more traffic to your Facebook page. The more traffic you have, the better you do. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Uh, I'll see you over at the Social Media Blast. Bye.